Hey folks, it's Glenn the Ball Chef, and today I'm going to show you how to bake up a red velvet cake from scratch. But this one's got a twist. We're going to fill it with some chocolate vanilla donut holes, or donuts you might call them. And when they bake into that cake and you slice into it, it gives it a real interesting look. So let me show you how we put this classic cake recipe together. All right, this is the homemade version of the red velvet cake. Start this out in a mixer with two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And then we're going to add in one cup of buttermilk. To the buttermilk, we're then going to add in one and a half cups of all-purpose vegetable oil. And then we're going to add in one cup of sugar. A teaspoon of baking powder and two tablespoons of baking cocoa powder, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then we're going to add a whole one ounce bottle of red food coloring. Important here, we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees, and then we're going to crack off two eggs and add that to our mixture. Once we get the eggs placed into the batter, we're going to then raise the bowl up into the mixer, lock it into place, and turn this on to medium, and let this blend for about five minutes to thoroughly mix all of the ingredients. Once that's been completed, you see our classic red velvet batter mix. So before we pour this into our spring pan, uh, of course we want to take some butter thoroughly coat the outside edges and the bottom of the pan so that when we bake this cake up it comes out complete no breakage or cracks very very important and once that's been accomplished we're going to take our batter and pour about three quarters of it right into the pan and once we have that laid in there we're going to Take that to make sure that it's evenly distributed and then we're going to start adding our donut holes. These are frosted with chocolate so it's giving this cake a nice chocolatey taste. Uh, the vanilla on the inside gives the cake a really nice outward uh, appearance when you slice into it. You see little round white holes in the red velvet cake itself. Probably want to put about 15 or 17 holes into the actual cake and one of the most important steps is when you're baking this you want to check on this uh, to make sure that the donut holes haven't floated up the top you want them in the middle we add the last of the batter onto the top of the cake mix and then we're going to pop it into that oven like I said for about 350 degrees for one hour check it with the toothpick to make sure it's cooked cool it down thoroughly very, very important. Uh, once we take the pan, spring pan off, we're going to then take and cut the bottom of it off of our pan to make sure it comes off. Ah, ah, one piece, please. Very careful in this stage here so that when that pulls off of there, the top part's got to be just perfect. So we just about got this sliced off of the bottom of the pan. We'll lift this up very, very carefully and place it onto a plate. Now, you never have too much icing. We're going to take and we're going to start by icing the sides of the cake. And this is a cream cheese frosting we're using. It's not homemade. Uh, we're spinning this around trying to get this perfect and then of course we'll do the top. But once the top's done, that's the final product right there. Go in and slice right into that cake. Cut us off a nice slice, plate this up, be careful here, take a little server, pull that out, put it onto the plate, like so, and there you go. Now we we'll take this over here, give it a little bite, and I want to tell you folks for sure, this is one of the most moist, tender cakes, and I'll tell you